What a night, man. What a night. Brett Blizz had built this house, man. I'm just trying to live in it a little bit. That's all, man. I'm just trying to live in it, man. And he, uh, I brought that 2000 team that was recognized at halftime. They hung the first banner in this building. We brought them in at the eight-minute mark uh, to talk to our team. And I just wanted them there just to feel how hard our kids are working. But then for our kids to see this is a championship-level program. And, like, we got to live up to that, period. That's, that's, that's what's up there in those rafters, and we have to live up to it. Um, I'm so proud of those guys in there, man. I'm so proud of them. Um, I, like I said the other night, man, you guys have no idea how big a part Doug Eslick and Jackie Manuel are part of this, man. Jackie with the subs and changing the defense and in my ear. Doug's got every single call. Like, he knows what he's looking at, man. And we're just we're, – we're three teaming this. I might be standing up there, but it's a three-man team. Matt Lynch is a sports psychologist. He's unbelievable, man. He's got every every little angle of our guys. He has unbelievable relationships with them. So we're just, we're just going to fight for this thing, man. We're going to fight. Um, you know, we needed that to go good because I have turned up the intensity. And, and so, like, if I'd have – if we wouldn't have got any result out of the night, they would have been really, really hurt. So um, just a big-time effort. Tofi was big-time. Um, he guarded and scored. Shot 50%, 6 for 12, 17 points, 14 points from Phillips, uh, 16 from Mike with 10 boards. Jalen Sims, I thought, had one of his better, smoother games. I just – I loved where he was at defensively. I loved where his mind was at. Hey, even one time, like, this is what I'm talking about, like, the sacrifice in the team. The team got a little rhythm going, and I wanted to throw him back in. He said, no, no, let him go, let him go. Shaquem did the same thing. That's huge. That's huge. That's selfless. And we talked about that. So, I'll take any questions. Well, it seemed like you uh, seemed to draw up some plays, especially for Tolkien. Yeah. Because they were definitely yep. scores down the stretch. Yep. And, that, and that shows the selfless ball. Yep. What was it? What was it? going around that screen that just gets the bucket like that. Uh, no, we, it's just something we added the very first Tuesday we practiced. We needed another sideline out of bounds play that nobody's seen. Uh, we added the other the play that we ran the other night with 3.7. We added that this week as well. So we just had to get in space. We were trying to get the right guy um, – with Brace Bolden guarding him. Like, we got to attack him and make him move his feet. Not a great defender. I know he played a bunch of minutes the other night. We tried to use our quickness against his size, um, and, and we came out on the other side with it. Man, Jordan Rowland, 13 for 22. He's high major, man. George Washington let him go. Wow. <clears throat> Coach, talk about just what was going through your mind then in that last play of regulation, right? Back-to-back -back games. Kind of yeah, the same yep. Obviously, it didn't end the way you wanted to Thursday. So, what were you thinking about doing, kind of different in that situation compared to Thursday? Um, I wanted to get. I, I, we had. We took a quick. I thought we sideline of bounds were a little quick. Excuse me. And I wanted to make sure we got the right guy going, but we had to have him in space. And so we added that little wrinkle, and he got out of there. We used it twice, and Mike got to his left hand. Those guys are notorious for jumping our screens and sending us left so we wanted to get everybody out of the way to drive it left so um just a heck of a heck of a ball game tonight man uh, kudos to every fan that came out here like i said the other night man just get behind these guys you know we, we'll have a hiccup in the road here or there but they're gonna fight they're gonna work extremely hard for you and uh, they're gonna represent this championship level program the way they know how to do it and we're just gonna it's gonna take everybody to get behind them man everybody this is big time tonight how would you describe the last five or six days? Uh, pretty, pretty big whirlwind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's been a whirlwind. Um, I couldn't have do it, done it without my dad, man. Like my dad's sitting at home in a, in a wheelchair. He, he can't walk. He can't get up. Uh, he's gonna have an operation here at the end of the month to get a hip uh, put back in. He has no hip bone right now, but he is the best basketball mind I've ever been around. Um, I love him to death for it. Um, you know, it's I've gotten through it with Doug and Jackie, man. Like, they are men of character, man. They're men uh, of their faith, and uh, they believed in me. Um, this has not been easy. It has been emotional. Um, like I said, I, I didn't want this job this way, but I'm going to do this job the right way, and I'm going to do it the only way I know how to do it, and that's with toughness, hard nose, get it together. My wife has been unbelievable. Um, you know, as an assistant, you don't get to spend much time. My daughter's over there. Uh, I like that pink you got on tonight. All right. Um, you know, they just, they just, it's normal at home. It really is. Like, I come in, I say hello, I hang out with her a little bit. The dog goes nuts. I had to take the trash out Friday. Like, my wife made me do dish duty, I think, the other night. And I'm like, come on, man. I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to get this thing rolling. But, you know, I got a lot of friends in the business. Um, you know, there's a guy here in town, man. His insight to me privately has been unbelievable. He, he's been in the business a long time. Um, 
just everybody here, man. Everybody in this in this department has been huge, man. Um, the electricity has been unbelievable. But now we got to bottle this because we got nine long games. We got to go on the road and we got to just fight and we got to get better. We got five big time practices that we have. This is our camp, right? I got I got to correct a lot of things. There's some things defensively we got to get done. So it ain't gonna stop, man. We got to get the, we got to put some more coal to the train. Let it go a little bit faster. Oh, the tremendous amount, tremendous amount. It was like what I said earlier. So um, I pushed and driven pretty hard, and I've been stern. And like when we make mistakes, we're on the line. And and I, I went I went too long. I said I went an hour and forty minutes in here. It's too long the day before a game. I wanted to go an hour and thirty, but I cannot allow some of our our lapses mentally to get us because in pressure situations like that, you have to be able to execute. You have to know what the defensive game plan is. But it it like it relieves them, man. Now they know they can do it. Now they can believe even more in what we're doing. They can get a little bit tougher. They know those eleven loose balls the other night we got mean something. Those are winning plays and like everybody's sacrificing for everybody in there man I'm just so proud of these guys like Dodd Dodd wasn't as great as he was the other night but man we needed Dodd tonight he was big I mean how many guys did we play three six nine ten eleven all twelve all eleven guys got in my boy Brent Jenkins with one turnover but I love him to death I love him to death he's unbelievable in our locker room so we'll just stay together and keep fighting but yeah the pressure's off a little bit so um, we had birthday cake for Lynch the other day, and now we just got to get birthday cake for, for Mike. Um, we did eat Casey's last night. I took the guys at Casey's, so um, we'll, get, we'll get Beth to get us a cake. We'll eat some cake on Monday. Coach, can you kind of just sure. touch on what Mike meant to you guys down the stretch? Yeah, he was big, man. Tie in, both keep yep. the ball out. Can you talk about what he brings overall? Because he's kind of, he fills up the box score every game. Yep. And he's going to obviously have to be a big part of you guys. Right. Obviously, Mike did not have a great experience at Florida. And Mike played on a national championship, undefeated high school team with legitimate players. And he was a big-time player in high school. And so he got punched in the chest down there. And, and he, he had to readjust. And, and Mike's got some bad habits as far as his practice habits. And, you know, at that level, man, like the cream's going to rise to the top. And at, at that time in his career, he wasn't there. And so when we got him, he was, he was a little defeated. He didn't know who he was. And it's taken us to today – Last week, we starting to see, I, I would say about Drexel, I started to see it at Drexel, like he was coming along a little bit, but um, his belief, man, his belief in himself, you know, Mike, Mike is quick to drop his head, I'm like, get your head up, get your head up, like, this is a whole new experience for you, and just keep battling, man, but yeah, he's huge, uh, Tolfrey's unbelievable confident, um, Sims just keeps working and chopping wood, man, the dude was in here last night shooting, he made his first two threes a night, he just had a good vibe to him, we got to figure out his free throw deal, he thinks too much. The work has been done for him at the free throw line. He just got to go up there and relax. Um, but it was uh, they, they were all special tonight, man. Really were. Anybody else? Just touch on sure. what, what personally for you. I mean, this is kind of a big thing. Yeah. Your first win. Yeah, it is. Um, it, at, at the end of the day, it's not about me. But it is about this. It's about the belief in yourself as a person. I believe in who I am. Right. Nobody ever saw me play in this room, but I believed in myself as a player. I coached in a gym at Lenore Community College with seven people in the stands for a championship. Right. That was for a championship. And we lost and nobody was at that game. Right. And I got to be able to cut my teeth. Um, I'm fighting for a lot of guys at the junior college level that don't get this opportunity. You know, there's a man down the road here, uh, Walter Shaw and Ryan Mantlow, who I coached against. And, and they're really good friends of mine. And it's, uh, I got to fight for those guys, man, because they, they didn't get this opportunity. I got to do it right, and I got to nail it and knock it out of the box. And uh, I'm just going to try to make it tough as I can on my man back there, Jimmy Bass. Got to make it tough on you, man. But, hey, we got a lot of work to do. We can't worry about that right now. Um, but personally, it, it ain't about me, man. And it's about in dudes in there, and then and then like believing in you can do something, man. And then you got to go fight and lay it all on the line to do it. And then you got to get up the next morning and do it again. And you got to do it again. And you got to do it again, and over and over and over again until you become very confident in who you are. And then you you got something. You're working with something. And everybody's skill level of coaching and playing is is different. But just it's about chopping wood, man. You know, it's, it's, I'm going to watch that film tonight. I'm trying to rest in the morning. I got a ton of calls to make and catch up with text messages, but it, it ain't about me, man. It's about UNC Wilmington men's basketball program, the six-time 
what is it, six conference championships and seven tournament championships or vice versa? Six tournament championships. Six tournament championships and seven conference championships. That's what it's about, getting back to that, you know, getting back to really being a championship-level team. This team will get there. We're a long way from it, and we're talking two years maybe. Maybe, you know, I'd like to be quicker than two years, but they're going to get there. If that group will stay together, they can add three pieces to it. I got some ideas who I would like to sign, but we'll get it back to where we want to get it to.